Hello my honey buns and welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video I basically wanted to show you guys some different things that you can be doing in order to either avoid DOMS which is also known as delayed onset muscle soreness and also things that you can do to relieve it if you have already got it. So let's get on with it. So essentially we've all gone back to the gym recently and probably have all faced some soreness because I know I am still currently feeling very very sore from my first couple of sessions back in the gym post lockdown so i mean it can be kind of difficult to avoid muscle soreness in this respect because obviously if you have had a long break from the gym or if you are a beginner you are most likely going to get some sort of muscle soreness but the key here is to try to minimize that amount of soreness that you do get and also to relieve it during the actual period of time that you do have the soreness my first tip then is caffeine now this is a pretty tricky one because you do actually have to consume i think it's 400 milligrams of caffeine in order for it to be effective so that's roughly around like four cups of coffee and you're usually supposed to do this in the hour before you work out however we do have an alternative because we have things like bcaa's we have pre-workout um, and all of these things tend to incorporate caffeine into their ingredients list so if you can find a pre-workout or um, a bcaa like powder that has a lot of caffeine in then this could possibly help you to avoid muscle soreness in the days following your first few days back in the gym after lockdown i know that a lot of people do also think that cold water immersion helps so basically getting like an ice cold bath However, this one is also very difficult because it has to be within the 12 to 15 degree range. And I think personally, it's gonna be very difficult for you to sit there and make sure that your water is 100% between those, those degree levels. Alongside that, you also cannot stay in any longer than 10 minutes because it can actually make the soreness worse. So in this respect, it's a bit difficult to use this one um, unless you are obviously maybe a professional athlete or something like that who has other people to help um, and to obviously moderate the temperature of the water and how long you're in there for, etc. Another thing that you can do though is foam rolling. Now, I know that a lot of people don't particularly like foam rolling because it can hurt and yeah, I agree in that respect. I don't, I don't personally do foam rolling unless it's like necessary because it's not for me like it's just it hurts too much like even if i'm not sore it still hurts because obviously it's pressing the muscle really really hard um but yeah there are studies to show that foam rolling after a workout does actually help quite a bit in terms of like doms and muscle soreness essentially but this is a good option to utilize in terms of relieving the pain while you have it now just going off of what has helped me apparently there's no scientific evidence that stretching helps um with muscle soreness however i've been doing that the last couple of days my legs have been so sore like everywhere pretty much everywhere on my legs has been sore my hamstrings my quads especially the side of my quads my glutes all of those sorts of areas and what i actually did was i got a hot bath and i did some stretches while i was in the bath so i basically lifted my leg straight up um and just basically held it there for maybe about five minutes and i know a lot of people find will find this difficult because obviously it hurts um a lot of people aren't as flexible as i am i am quite i am very flexible to say the least so um I don't find it as difficult as some people might but in terms of like stretching just do what you can um, and stretch out your muscles for as long as you can several times in the day if you are already sore um, obviously you should be stretching anyway after and before your workout whether you're sore or not because obviously this helps I don't personally do it because I'm an idiot but you know just take my advice and stretch um, but yeah now that I am sore I have been doing like hot water baths like steaming hot water epsom salts are meant to be really good for muscle soreness as well and also just stretch that's all you can really do as far as i know i know that caffeine can help speed up the recovery process so you can try drinking more coffee more tea um drinking some energy drinks or something like that maybe some pre-workout again like i said and this could possibly help you speed up the recovery process um ultimately the last two things are protein and sleep. 
So these are probably the two most important things, which is why I left them till the last. Um, and basically this is because sleep aids recovery. We all know that sleep aids recovery. Um, when you're sleeping, that is when the muscle fibers are all rejuvenating themselves. Your body isn't discarding any energy for anything else at this point in time because you are asleep. So you're not moving around, you know, you're not really doing anything. I mean, obviously your brain's still working, but like, your body physically is not doing anything. So all of your energy can go into the internal processes in terms of fixing whatever muscle fibers have been broken down and rebuilding and getting them stronger. So you definitely, definitely need more sleep during this period of time. Um, don't be waking up majorly early, forcing yourself to go to the gym at that time. Just listen to your body. And obviously if you are feeling too sore to work out, then don't go, it's as simple as that, just don't go, just relax, allow your body the time to fix itself. We are all worried that there is going to be a second lockdown and stuff like that, but just take it slow. There is no point in rushing back into it because you're only gonna injure yourself and then end up out of the gym for God knows how long. So just bear that in mind, take it slow and then you'll be able to go every single day. Whereas if you go hard from the day one, like I did, and I ended up out of the gym for a day after that, you know, you just, you don't want it, do you? You don't want to be taking time off. We've just had four, like four or five months out of the gym and the last thing that you want to be doing now is having days off. Like we want to be in there, we want to be doing it, you know? So yeah, and then the other one, obviously protein. So we all know protein builds muscle. We know these are the building blocks for all of our muscle fibers. Our whole muscle is made of protein, amino acids. So ultimately protein is obviously going to be key. Make sure that you are having as many meals in the day as you can that are filled with protein. At the moment, I'm trying out the Greg Doucette diet. It's not really a diet, but like his advice, which is basically to find calorie dense, uh, not calorie dense foods, we don't want that, low calorie dense foods, so more food for less calories. And I'm basically looking for different alternatives, different ways um, to make different foods that I like. I have a few recipes that I have already tried and I am planning on coming out of the video on that. And that is going to be really, really good. I actually did just have um, pizza, which was 25 grams of protein. And I had two of the pizzas and the total came to, I think 450 calories. And I am so full and it was amazing. It literally, it tasted like pizza, like, and I hate those things that are like, you know, oh, have this to replace your chocolate cake. And then it tastes like fucking a sponge. You know, it's just, we don't want it. We want real alternatives. We want things that actually taste good and like the thing that we're missing. So this is definitely a good recipe. And um, I'm really excited to actually make that video and post it out for you. Um, I've just been trying out the recipes first off before I actually film because I want to make sure that they are actually taste, tasting good. You know, I want to make sure the recipes actually are successful and they don't flop. Um, and yeah, I just want to make sure that everything is perfect before I do actually film that video. But it will be coming very, very soon. And I will also be updating you on the weight loss that I'm having. Obviously, we're on the four weeks dread still. We're like three days in. <laughs> um, I have got a weighing scale. I'll insert the clip here for day one's weight. And we will basically be checking in every week to see how much weight I have lost on the Greg Doucette diet. And it's so weird because like yesterday and the day before, I honestly felt so full. And I, I was just thinking, like, I keep thinking there's no way I'm gonna lose weight. Like, I can't possibly be this full and be under my calories. It's almost like I'm I'm not believing the calories on the packet of things because I think, well, they must be more because like, I can't possibly have all of this food for this amount of calories, you know? And that's how you wanna feel on a diet. You don't wanna feel like you're not having enough. You don't wanna constantly feel hungry and like, you know, you don't want to be aware of the fact that you're on a diet because that's what makes a diet so hard. It's the mental aspect of knowing you can't have that, you know? So anyway, I'm really enjoying it so far. It's only been two days. Things could change. We're going to see what happens. Um, but I will update you at the end of the week on that. And I'm sorry that I just went on a complete tangent about the diet. But obviously protein <laughs> that was a uh, part of the point is that protein is necessary and all of these meals that i will be making will all be high 
protein meals. So that is what I've been doing. Lots and lots of protein. I think I've been hitting about 150 grams a day. And basically, that has pretty much helped me recover in two days, I think it was. It's like roughly two days. Um, but I, I only had one day off where I was completely like out, like I couldn't walk. And then I was straight back in the next day. So obviously it's recovered pretty fast to be fair, because usually when you're a beginner, it takes quite a while for you to actually recover. Um, and obviously I'm basically a newbie again because we've been out for that long. My body's just like, Phew. but I can already feel the muscle coming back, which is a good sign. So I'm excited about that. So they are all my points then guys. So you try and foam rolling, you try and stretching, hot baths, caffeine. Um, sleep and protein and if you combine all of those different things both before you're sore and after you're sore if you get sore then you should start to feel a little bit better it's bound to be slow progress but as long as it's only like one day where you're like excruciatingly sore then you know you've done something right we will get through this it's just it'll only last a couple of weeks um, just try and bear that in mind like we're not always gonna be getting doms like over time, once our bodies get used to being back in the gym and lifting weights and stuff, we will be fine. And that doesn't take long, I will add. If you have enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you want to follow me on any social media, I will put them on the screen. I'll also leave them in the description box below for you. And if you would like to see any more content from me, don't hesitate to click one of the videos showing up on your screen right now, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.